Hey guys, it's Nelson with iOS Softmodder and today I'm going to show you how to get a Nintendo DS emulator on your iPhone without even requiring jailbreak. So I've covered other um, uh, emulators such as the Game Boy Advance emulator which you can see here and the NES emulator which you can play directly from your browser. Uh, so now I'm going to show you guys a Nintendo DS emulator uh, for the iPhone. You can download it on all your Apple devices. The first step you'll need to do is head over to one of your web browsers. I'm just going to wait for this to load. Um, you can find this link in the article. From there you can download, uh, you tap on here to download NDS for iOS. If you are jailbroken you can download it as well, there's a different version which you can download from up here. But if you're not jailbroken you can just download the one here. So. There's a trick when downloading it, so when you're going to press it, uh, it's going to load for a little bit and it's going to say install. So what you do is you press install and as soon as it starts downloading, you head to your settings. Uh, then you go to general and you go to the date and time and you have to change the date and time. Turn it off and change it to July 15th, uh, 2013. Um, this will let it process and let it download. Um, it didn't work for me the first time, so you guys are gonna have to, you might have to do it a couple of tries. I don't know, you're probably smarter than me, so it'll work for you guys, but I had to do it uh, four times, and it worked on the fourth time. And uh, here you can see it, so I'm just gonna open it up. Uh, if you guys wanna download some ROMs, you can press the plus sign, and it'll take you to um, a directory where you can download ROMs. Uh, you can only download ROMs that you own uh, legally, so I don't know what you guys wanna do. I'm just scared that the FBI might raid your guys' pad or something, and just fuck shit up but uh, once you download all the ROMs uh, you can play so I'm gonna open up new Super Mario Bros and you can see the controls are down here I shifted them down here from up here they were uh, originally up here but they were getting in the way of the screen you can do that in the settings so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of gameplay uh, there is sound I'm gonna play and there you can see some of the sound um, it works really well uh, with smaller games like Super Mario Brothers or Pokemon. Uh, with Grand Theft Auto and Assassin's Creed, it's a bit laggier. Um, uh, I'll go to Pokemon and see. Well, oh, for some games, actually, it doesn't even work either. Like Pokemon Black didn't work uh, when I tried using it, but Pokemon Diamond did work. And you can see it here loading. And yeah, like I said, the gameplay is pretty good for games that are smaller like this. There was like barely any lag. Uh, with games, whoa, it just forced close. Oh, uh, with Assassin's Creed, yeah, there's a little bit of lag, and it's just, uh, it's it's kind of frustrating trying to play the game with it, but it's pretty awesome that you can play the game regardless, because it's such a big game, and it needs a, a big processor, like on the Nintendo DS, for it to work well, uh, which the iPhone doesn't have, so that's why there is lag. And at the bottom portion of the screen, it, you also have a touch screen, like on the Nintendo DS, where you can perform several actions just like you would on the uh, on the Nintendo DS. So, all right, well that's it. Thanks, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at iOS Softmodder. All right, thanks, guys.